started, we're doing something a little different today. One of our Patreons told me, Paula, yeah. said that I should do my 20 bottle collection. So what happened was, so she's stealing my idea. I'm and, stealing your idea. And David. I stole the idea from somebody else. So uh, a buddy of ours is considering paring down his whiskey collection just for budgetary and health and space and a bunch of other reasons. So, okay, so the idea is if you have your big bourbon collection, whether, whether it's 25 bottles or 150 or 500 bottles, whatever it is, the idea is, is that if the time comes to actually pare it down, what would be the 20 bottles that you would keep and try to restock? Now, not just keeping the 20 nicest, but keep, what are you going to actually try to keep stocked in your, uh, in your bourbon cart, your whiskey cart or cabinet, whatever? And you guys will be surprised that not all 20 of them are an old forester. She tried. She tried. I really but Old, tried. But Old Forester doesn't make 20 products, so just that alone. First bottle up tonight is Old Forester 100, coming in at $26. Yeah, that was on my list as well. Jamie had to go with it. It is, uh, what, your favorite cocktail mixer, I guess? Yeah. It's, it's a good one. Next up is Cooper's Craft 100. Come in probably about $35. Yeah, right, about that. Cooper's Craft gives me a lot of dessert notes that I really like. Yeah, it kind of bridges the gap between an Old Forester 1910 and like a more budget bourbon. So it kind of draws that, rides that line there. And my collection must have a 13th colony. This is the Southern Bourbon. And this comes in at 95 proof, mm -hmm. about $35, right, David? That was on my list as well. Next up is Eagle Rare. It's coming in at 90 proof, a little harder to find, but if you can find it at, you what, $40? Yeah, it's it's about definitely, 40 bucks. definitely a good buy. Well, and it's, it's, it's a solid bourbon. If you can find it at retail, and I know some places it's super hard to find at retail, but if you can, I mean, it's a, it's a great entry level Buffalo Trace product, 10 year age stated which there's not actually a lot of Buffalo Trace stuff that is age stated, so it's actually a good one. Yeah. Next up, we've got Bardstown Bourbon Company, white label, coming in at 96 proof. Yeah. yeah. How much is this, David? Uh, I think that's usually right around 45 to 50-ish now. Price has gone up a little bit lately, but I mean, for a six-year age stated, you know, it's Bardstown's own juice. It's a great bottle. Now, this one is the one that has like that peach cobbler yeah, taste. Yeah. Delicious. It's, it's awesome. so good. The next one she picked was a Blue Note Juke Joint. This is Mixtape 1. We got this one as a gift from one of our amazing Patreons, coming in at 121.3 proof. This is like a peanut, peanut butter Snickers bar. It is delicious with caramels and, oh, man, I can't say enough about it. It's and, so good. And Jamie, what's in your glass right now? Hmm. <laughs> And my favorite, Old Forester 1910, coming in at 93 proof. Those retail for about, what, $52, $55 these days here in Virginia and probably somewhere in your neck of the woods. And uh, I thought we were going to get away with it not being on the list, but... Oh, no. This made me fall in love with bourbon. I think you're kind of surprised that I picked your Michter Small Batch Sour Mash coming in yeah. at... 86 proof. I was a little surprised you went with a Michter's, but that is actually kind of flavor profile wise. It kind of lines up with you because of that higher rye content gets a, some nice fruity and some green notes there. What I really like about it is very balanced. It has the proof is easy. I mean, the balance mm. of the flavors, it has the dessert that I like, but then it also kind of has that freshness of um, the sour mash. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah, this one is actually kind of hard to get in Virginia, but in some, in some states it's probably probably easier. Uh, but this thing usually sells for right around fifty-ish or so dollars. It's it's not terribly priced, and it's a really kind of a pleasant lower proof sipper. And another one of my favorites, Woodford Reserve Double Oaked. It's coming in at ninety point four proof. Uh, this one happens to be a store pick, but the standard is just as good. I love the standard too. Yeah, these usually run for right around 52, 55 ish these days. Store picks might be a little bit more, and this is a store pick. Uh, but normally you prefer the store picks, but if we can't find a store pick, you'd still rather have a standard 
one of the double oaks than to not have one at all. Yeah, I feel like about a month ago I bottle killed a, a standard double oak. All right, the next one on her list is Old Forester 1920. And the reason it's on her list is because I told her I wouldn't film with her this video <laughs> if it wasn't on her list. No, I'm kidding. Not true. Not true. If, if we don't have 1910 in the speakeasy, I will go for the 1920 because mm -hmm. 1920, it might be a little bit spicier on the palate, but I like it. It's balanced. It, it still gives me um, some d dessert notes that that I like and I love the richness of Old Forester so yeah. this one definitely uh, pulls that in for me. How much do do you pay for this? Um, usually they're right around 55, 60, 65. Uh, it kind of depends if you can find it on sale, uh, but yeah, you're right around 55, 60. The next one that Jamie picked is New Riff Single Barrel Store, but this is actually a store pick we got from Justin's House of Bourbon coming in at 130.2 proof. They usually run for right around 50, $55 um, out of Kentucky. They balance well. I think when you're drinking them, they don't feel proofy on yeah. the palate. And some of the ones we've had have had some really nice brown sugar notes. Mm -hmm. Like that one we got down in Florida was just really brown sugar rich and just really pleasant and at a fairly low proof. Yeah. Next up is Heaven Hill Bottled in Bond. How much are we paying for this, David? Um, those usually are running around. I've seen them in Georgia for 50 and I've seen them some other places for 60. So they're, this has actually kind of got some weird pricing. So it's somewhere between 50 and 60 usually. This got, has that strawberries and cream that I love. It's got that freshness, that little bit of like buttercream. Next up is Maker's Mark 46 Cast Strength. This one is a good bottle. It's at 110.1. Proof. Yeah, it gives you those traditional maker notes and they usually run about, what do they run about? Maybe 60, 65 these days. Uh, price is going up a little bit on them. Next one is a, a really unique bottle. This is Penelope Rosé Cast Finish. This bottle is really good. It's different. How much would we get this for, David? So that was a gift. So I... we have never bought it. So I'm not exactly <laughs> sure. So I don't even want to venture a guess. I know, and it's already halfway through, so you just need to stop drinking it so I, it can stay in my collection. Well, this was actually on my list, so I'm going to keep drinking it. Are you serious? That was on your list? It was. Wow. You keep copying my list, Jamie. Well, I feel like that's not really a bottle that would be your thing, but I it's think... It's not normally, but it's really, it's so really unique. unique. It's really yeah. unique, and it's really delicious. I love E.H. Taylor. You got me into this, so I have an E.H. Taylor small batch bottled in Bond. How much is this going for, David? So the retail on that thing is like 45 ish dollars, but I mean, you on secondary, you'll pay up to 70, 80, 100 bucks for them up, you know, if you really want to. Yeah, E.H. Taylor to me reminds me of it, it. You have the berry notes that you get from the Buffalo Trace, but then you also usually get like Snickers bar and like brown sugar and. Yeah, of all the Buffalo note, Buffalo Trace, you know, the, the kind of entry level, the Eagle Rare. Eagle Rare, uh, Blanton's, E.H. Schiller, Small Batch. This one has, to mm. me, a much better ba ba better balanced palette in that you get those berry notes from Buffalo Trace, but you get a nice char barrel, some nice caramels, vanillas, mm -hmm. and as instead of it being so, like, red berry dominant. What are those, um, like, not wafer cookies, but what are those? Um... The strawberry uh, wafer, the strawberry waffle cookie thing. Yes! Oh, my gosh, yeah. yeah. yeah I know exactly what you're talking about. It's... It, that's what fantastic. it tastes like. It's really good. Now, even though, you know, uh, even though this is a harder bottle to find, this was something that Jamie really loves and would be willing to uh, to put in the effort for, or at least make me put in the effort. Yeah, for. I'd make you put in the effort. Next up, we have a very interesting bottle. This one reminded me of the 13th Colony Double Oaked. Well, this is Rebecca Creek Double Barreled Bourbon Whiskey finished in Spanish oak. It's coming in at 122.8 proof. Yeah. And this one, um, what, is from Texas and it's $59? Yeah. Is that we, yeah, how much we, we paid for it? We paid 59 in shipping for this bottle. Uh, thank you to a great patron for helping us get a hold of it. Yep. This thing is tremendous. It's really good. I mean, look at how much we have left. Yeah, it's not... It's not as dark as the 13th Double Oak, and it's not quite the same, but it's actually a pretty impressive bottle for the age and the price. For $59. And, and for yeah. it being findable. It's it's definitely a sleeper. If you can get, a, get your hands on one, 100% do. Next up on Jamie's list is a Four Roses single barrel pick. This happens to be an OESF. And then coming in at a hundred and what? A hundred and one, 111.4 proof. 
It's really, really nice. What I love about Four Roses is I love the floral notes, obviously, but the vanilla spice usually that comes with it yeah. is such a nice balance of flavors. Um, this one's a good one. Yeah, this one happens to be very fruity and creamy to me. Mm -hmm. uh, they usually run right around 90 to 100 bucks, and they're pretty hard to find, but when you can find them for that price, 90 to 100, definitely recommend you pick them up. Everybody's going to hate me for this one, David. I'm going to hate you most of all because I have to figure out how to get a hold of one. I have a love for Old Forester, and my 20 bottle collection would not be complete without a special Old Forester. The 1910 Extra Extra Old. This is coming in at 93 proof. Adorable bottle. I do wish it was like super Twice. size. Three times as big, five times as big. <laughs> super size. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah. I, I can't say enough about it. It's. Yeah, we got a hold of this particular bottle from a great patron who gave it to us. It's super awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, last time we were in Kentucky. But these, you can get them from the distillery if you're lucky sometimes mm -hmm. for right around $40, $45. On the secondary, they go for much, much more. But, I mean, she knows what she wants. And this is one that I could not talk her out of. Other Old Forester special stuff that I like would be like the birthday bourbons. So I would say one special Old Forester would be in my 20 bottle collection. Mm -hmm. It's worth the work for me. Mm -hmm. It's worth the work for you. Hmm. Bardstown Discovery 8. This is expensive and what, hard to find? Yeah, these things run about, what, 140-ish these days. This is 114 proof. This is an 8. You've liked some of the other ones, but right. 8 is your favorite. And I feel like I feel like I would be happy with any of the discoveries in my collection, at least for one bottle. But 8 would be the one that I would absolutely love in my collection. So. And you, you go through it pretty slowly. So you could keep an 8. And then maybe the 11 or 12 or 13 down the road would be something that you, you'd you be excited about. And most about. discoveries are at like 140, right, David? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And, I mean, we picked up these at the distillery. So, it's like if you're ever in Kentucky, you know, go to Bardstown and they have it in the gift shop usually. Yeah. When we go back in December, we may have to pick up another bottle. Yeah, or two. Last but not least... 13th Colony Double Oaked from this year. It's coming in at 136.8 proof. David, how much is this baby? A hundred and what? Uh, I think they were 150 this year. Jeez. Um, if you got it at retail, obviously. I don't even think they were supposed to be that high, but a lot of places jacked them up to that price. Even yeah. at retail. Uh, secondary on them is ridiculous. I mean... Look at how dark that is. Can I see your glass real quick? Like, look how dark this is, guys. Yep. I mean, wow. Wait, you're not... That was mine. Hmm. So, yeah, this is the 2023 one. It's tremendous. This was actually my top... My bottle as well, the the, the one at the end of my list. Um, so I can't fault you for that. And it is unlike anything. I, I mean, like I like the 23 better than the 22. So... And I'm I'm the opposite, but honestly, they're so close. The the 22 was a little sweeter, 23 a little spicier and a little bit more char. And I think that's what David really loves oh about it. But they're both like amazing. I yeah. mean, that's so dark. Yeah, and that's one of these. This is one of these things where you're you know it, it's really hard to find. And if you've got a limited amount of effort and a limited amount of budget. If you're only chasing a certain number of bottles a year and you have to go a little crazy to get something, then maybe maybe this is one that would be worth it. If you guys like what we're doing here on Beyond the Road, please subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button if you love figuring out how to get rid of all the rest of your whiskey. And end up with 20 bottles. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. And another one of my favorites, we have Old not Old Forester. <laughs> <laughs> they can't all be Old Forester, Jamie. <laughs>